In tech matters, the House of Representatives joins the open source community. Last week, the Open Government Foundation, the Sunlight Foundation, and the Congressional Data Coalition made that announcement. Now, House staff can use official resources to buy open source software. For more, I'm joined by Ben Balter, government evangelist, attorney, and open source developer at GitHub. Ben, let's start with the basics. What is open source software? How does it work, and how is it used? Open source software is software which the underlying human readable source code is made available for others to review, to improve upon, and to success uh, improvements to that code itself. Uh, it's used in the United States government, uh, in the executive branch, and now oh, in the legislative right, branch yeah. as well. This is big news, and now back to that announcement. There's been a lot of uncertainty surrounding the use of open source software in Congress. Why? Uh, the, the uh, United States Congress has certain ethics regulations that are laid on top of existing government regulations. Um, uh, more generally, though, open source is a different type of animal than government lawyers are used to dealing with on a daily basis. It's not something taught in law school. Uh, so there's a lot of education required about modern uh, industry standard development trends and how they uh, correlate to government regulations. Not taught in law school. That's a very interesting observation you've got. Now, let's talk about this change. According to the Open Gov Foundation, members and staff may use official resources to participate in open source projects, procure and publish open source software. Tell us more. Uh, the idea being that starting today, uh, software developed by the People's House, uh, funded by taxpayer dollars, uh, can eventually be returned to the people. Uh, so not only can the House begin to consume open source software, such as Drupal or WordPress, to stand up a website, uh, it can publish out the software it develops in-house back to the open source community, uh, and it can participate in the open source community. So if I'm a developer and I have feedback on how a, white house, or how a house website works, uh, I can suggest proposed improvements to that. Still, some say the House is pretty late to the party. Here's Mike Masnick of TechDirt. How is it 2015, and this is only becoming an option now? I guess we can't change the past, and so let's celebrate the House of Reps finally getting to this point. Ben, is that sentiment common in the open source community? Open source is nothing new in government. Uh, the government has been participating in the open source community for as long as open source existed. Uh, the executive branch has been involved with open source since about 2011 or so. Um, but if you look at the kind of the, the, the belts of DC, you still see Blackberries. Government is often a late adopter yeah, I mean, uh, and might uh, be a couple of years behind the private sector, but we're yeah, glad we're heading in the right direction and, and we're eventually there. Cool. All right, meanwhile, Representatives Blake Parenthold and Jared Polis plan to launch an open source caucus. What do we know about it, Ben? Uh, the idea being that there's uh, several legislative issues that intersect the open source community and the government's use of open source. Uh, as uh, government kind of reevaluates its budgets and how it approaches information technology, uh, there's an opportunity for open source to be somewhat of a force multiplier for taxpayer dollars uh, and allow uh, uh, government agencies to do more with less. Before you go, Ben, look into your crystal ball for all of us. Engage the momentum for open source in government. What do you think's next? I think it's uh, it's really going to be interesting to see how open source is used not just for software development, but for open data efforts, publishing out the underlying data that governs uh, how decisions are made within the House, and also open government efforts. So maybe I, the next time I have a suggestion for a bill or a, a policy, I can just fork it on GitHub and submit a pull request to improve it. You're traveling the world. What's the response been? Uh, absolutely overwhelming. To date, we have about uh, 55 different uh, countries on GitHub across about 25,000 government employees, uh, really underscoring the idea that open source isn't just a local movement, but a global trend. Incredible. Ben Balter, open source developer at GitHub. Thanks and good luck, Ben. Thank you very much for having me.